hashtag restart fashion, uh, where three post-consumer waste fabric makers collaborated with three talented designers. Um, we had Anandi Enterprises with uh, Chola, that's Sohaya Mish. India with Duralaj, and we had Gitanjali Woolens with An Anuj Bhatani. Um, a wonderful show with a very interesting concept, and especially when you add a hashtag to anything, it starts a revolution, a movement of sorts. And on Sustainable Fashion Day, which is today for Lakme Fashion Week, it was doing exactly that. Um, I'd like to pass over the mic to Mr. Jaspreet Chandok, VP and Head of IMGR Fashion, to please talk about what this wonderful show was about and collaborating with six talented designers. Firstly, it's three talented designers and three uh, organizations that work with uh, post-consumer waste and it's too lich. Yes. Uh, thought I'd seen that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> then I have to start correcting everybody's <laughs> pronunciation here. Yeah. Uh, but I think uh, there are two things that the LACME Fashion Week really has stood for for the longest time. And what IMG Reliance feels is, is, is the future. Uh, one is young, designers. Uh, we run one of the largest, one, we run the largest designer discovery program in the country, which is Gen Next. Uh, we've had some great exponents of that uh, who have come over the years. Uh, and we are now taking that next step by supporting young designers to tell stories and stories around sustainable fashion. So, so like we did in the 12 o'clock show where we put young designers with young artisans here, here. The whole idea was to take some great young minds and apply them to the tenets of uh, sustainable fashion, uh, reimagining how post-consumer waste fabrics can be used in, in, in a more uh, contemporary way. And eventually, once you start contemporizing usage, that's when the business of fashion also increases. And that's, that's really where we are coming from. And we are glad to have partnered uh, with these lovely young minds. Uh, makes me sound very old when I say lovely <laughs> young minds, but, uh, but uh, thank you, and it was just a fantastic show. So. Uh, Kriti, we saw a lot of patchwork in your um, presentation. We'd love to hear from you about what was the concept and you know inspiration behind that when you were working on such a collection. Uh, so Doodledge, as a brand, has always been working with post-production uh, waste. Each of our garment takes up scraps from industrial uh, you know, mass production units and work around that. That comes with a lot of challenges. But it was great to partner uh, you know, for on Sustainability Day for the same. Um, the idea behind Patchwork was to represent the urban chaos that we are all living in at the moment. And the floral details on top of each of the garments sort of represented for me that hope that everybody can still look within and still sort of work towards a better future. So hi, I want to actually um, ask you a question. Why relaxed fashion? I mean, you look really comfortable, and I love the way Aduna's complete attire looks. But why relaxed fashion? I mean, why did you go for that concept? Uh, whoever chose being uncomfortable over being comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's all about being relaxed. I think it's all about putting on an outfit and not having to think about it. Yeah. And th that's why. That's, that's who I am, and that's how I dress. And so I have to make my clothes like that. Otherwise. I'm not being true to my thought. So any particular reason why Aduna, I mean, it's a very fierce outfit. It's totally edgy. Uh, but uh, I mean, what was this concept like? like why did yeah, you choose Because you're this? describing her. She's fierce. She's edgy. She's independent. And she's a woman. Every woman strives to be or wants to be. Or yeah. I mean, she's like an example someone sets, you know? Yeah. And she's fun. And you saw her like yeah. on stage. It's not about taking things seriously. <laughs> it's about having fun with everything. And that's including fashion. But just being a little more aware of making it sustainable, I think, is the key. I think it was really fun to have that little jig towards the end because Adna, that is so your personality. I mean, whenever we've managed to catch a glimpse of your life or managed to see the person that you are, that, that actually comes through so beautifully. Um, what are your thoughts on, you know, spotting uh, a, a Sohaya Mishra? Well, sporting a Sohaya Achola is uh, definitely something I've been doing for many years. Um, the fact that she uh, believes in being relaxed is something I'm totally aligned with. <laughs> I don't believe in being uncomfortable in what I'm wearing at all. And I think the fact that um, we're talking about sustainability, that's also something that's yeah. extremely dear and important to me. So uh, props to Lakme Fashion Week for doing that. 
Thank you so much. Uh, I'd like to open the floor to the media to ask their set of questions. Could we get a couple of questions from media? I don't know, for me, I just think in layers. I don't think it goes season to season. For me, I start with one piece, and the next piece is like a gradual progression from it, and then it goes on like that from there. So, and to layer is just something I love to do. I mean, you don't have to layer it, but you can if you want to. So there's no real uh, thought that goes that much into it. It's just per piece, I guess. <laughs> so it's basically a pair of trousers. It's free size because you can tie it up. It flaps over, and she's wearing a shirt. Um, yeah, that we basically free cut, and once we free cut it, we cut it a little further and just, yeah, untechnique the, uh, <laughs> the living daylights out of it. Layering for doodlage has always been, uh, you know, a trend per se. It's something that uh, works for our garments really well. We've always worked in each of our outfit are very individual, but at the same time, they're always put together. It, it doesn't matter from what season I'm coming from. It's always, you know, uh, again, being relaxed about what you're wearing uh, and just going with the flow of the day so you can have one look day to night kind of a thing. Uh, I think, um, you know, patchwork specifically is very personal to, it's also something that cannot move away from doodlage, because what we have is so much in the clothes, that we don't have any patchwork in any other treatment, that we can't go away from the clothes. So, we have to patch the things, and put it on it, where the problems were rejected in the companies, उनके उसके बाद उसपे एम्ब्रोइडरी करनी पड़ती है तो एनीबॉडी हुज़ वर्किंग फॉर डूडलेज इवन फ्रॉम योर टेलर टू योर एम्ब्रोइडर दे हैव वेरी लाइक दे हैव लर्न्ड विद डूडलेज कि हमारे साथ लाइक किस तरह का एस्थेटिक्स काम करता है किस तरह के डिजाइन्स काम करते हैं किस तरह के रंग एक साथ काम करते हैं तो चाहे वो एक कारीगर हो चाहे वो एक डिजाइनर हो इस समय जितने लोग मेरे लिए अपसाइकलिंग करते हैं उन सब का एस्थेटिक इस तरह से डेवलप हो चुका है कि वो खुद ही पैचवा कर लेते हैं उसके ऊपर इम्प्रोइड्रीज की जो सेटिंग्स हैं वो हर बारी चेंज होती रहती हैं जिस तरह दिक्कतें हैं उस तरफ ज़्यादा इम्प्रोइड्री हो जाती है पर दिस आर डिजाइन डेवलपमेंट्स डेट कम अप व्हेनेवर वी आर डिजाइनिंग ईच ऑफ़ आर पीस व्हिच इज़ व्हाई एवरी पीस डेट वी डिजाइन लुक्स अ लि� Well, I, I don't know how I always manage to get myself into this, actually. Um, but um, my, I have friends in high places, and uh, they always kind of twist my arm. I love Chola's clothes. I mean, I, it's something I've always worn. I feel very comfortable in it. I love the look. And uh, it's not my favorite thing to be up in front of the camera and all that, but, like, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. <laughs> and uh, my team, was well, somebody from my team, uh, I went visited my salon before I came here. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's any definition to that. It's constantly changing and hopefully evolving. <laughs> Do we have any other questions? Okay, thank you.